Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is the 10th lecture of this graph theory series and in this lecture we are going to study about breadth-first search and we are going to start the lecture for breadth-first search. We will be implementing BFS to calculate or triple SP that is single source shortest path in an unweighted graph of course. There are no uh, weights of the edges. Basically we are talking about unweighted graphs. So uh, BFS is really uh, really easy. All all we do is we use Q here for the implementation of BFS, and then we have two arrays, visited and distance array, which would uh, distance array would save the distance of ith node from source node or root node. This is you already know, so don't have to explain here. Now what BFS does, it does a uh, traversal in uh, level order uh, fashion so first it would traverse all the nodes which are at level 0 so only the source is at level 0 so level is the distance of node from the root node so if 3 is root then 3 is at distance 0 from root node so 3 is at level 0 now node 1 2 and 5 are at level 1 because all these three nodes are at distance 1 from the root node that is 3 in this case root would be 3 now 6 7 and 4 these three nodes are at distance 2 from the root uh, root node that is why these three nodes uh, are at level 2 so what bfs does it uh, travels or traverses the graph in level order fashion so it would traverse level 0 then level 1 then level 2 and so on so what we do we start uh, we first insert in Q this is front of Q and this is back of Q so any insertion would become uh, would happen from this side and any removal would happen from the front size as happens in the Q so we insert source in the queue and then mark it as visited and initialize its distance with zero uh, you can see the distance of other node other nodes is also initialized with zero but it doesn't matter so it is the the only thing matters is that you initialize the distance of source node to be zero and mark it as visited now we move on into the while loop and while loop will run as long as there is at least one element in the queue so since there is three so we would take three and it would become our current node and we would pop it out uh, from the queue now current node is three which is at level zero now three would add all nodes which are adjacent to three and we see one to f and five are adjacent to three and they should also be unvisited so we see uh, from three 1 2 and 5 all are unvisited so we would mark them as visited 1 2 and 5 we would insert them in uh, queue and also we would initialize their or basically save their distance to be distance of current node plus 1 distance of current node is 0 so 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 and 0 plus 1 this is the distance of these node from root why is that so uh, the reason is since current node is at distance d say from root then whatever node it uh, it adds in, into the queue are at distance d plus 1 from root because from root to this the distance is d and from this to any of these nodes you need to take one more edge that is why uh, the distance would be d plus 1 of any of these nodes since a distance of d or sorry distance of 3 is 0 so distance of 1 2 and 5 would be 0 plus 1 that is 1 now there is no other node in the adjacency list of 3 since in the adjacency list of 3 there, is, there are only 3 elements 1 2 and 5 so the work of 3 is completed now we take the next element which would be 1 and then 2 and 5 would move further now current node becomes 1 in the adjacency list of 1 there is only 2 and 3 but need uh, but both of the nodes 2 and 3 are already visited so we won't be able to add anything into the queue so we would take uh, next uh, while loop runs again and it checks if the queue is not empty so we would take the front element again as current element so 2 would become the front elements and 5 would move one step ahead 
now current node is 2 in the adjacency list of 2 we have 1 3 and 4 but 1 and 3 are already visited but 4 is not so we would add 4 into q and then mark is at uh, sorry marked node 4 as visited and its distance to be distance of current node which is 1 distance of current node is 1 plus 1 that is 2 so distance is distance of 4 is 2 now there is nothing uh, to traverse in the adjacency list of 2 so we we would take the next element as current element so 5 bec uh, becomes current node and then in the adjacency list of 5 there is 3 6 and 7 and uh, among all these three nodes 3 6 and 7 we see 6 and 7 are unvisited uh, as we can see in the visited array so we would add 6 and 7 in the queue and uh, save their distance to be distance of 5 plus 1 distance of 5 plus 1 so these two are at level 2 or at distance 2 from the root node that is 3 now work of 5 is completed we would take the next element as current so 4 would become current now in the adjacency list of 4 there is only 2 but 2 is already visited so there is nothing much node 4 can do so 6 would become the next current element in the adjacency list of 6 there is there are 2 elements 5 and 7 and 5 and 7 both are visited so we won't be able to add any new node now 7 becomes the next uh, current node and in the adjacency list of 7 there are 5 and 6 but 5 and 6 are already visited so it also won't be able to add anything into the queue now uh, the while loop runs again but this time queue is empty so we have finished the algorithm so this finally contains the level of each node node 5 is at level 1 node 1 and 2 are also at level 1 so we can see node 1 2 and 5 are even, uh, one at one distance from root node while 4 6 and 7 4 6 and 7 are at level 2 or at second distance or at distance 2 from the root node you see you need to traverse two edges to reach 4 you need to traverse two edges to reach 7 and you need to traverse two edges to reach 6 so this was pretty easy algorithm the implementation is as easy as the example of this problem so this way you would be able to calculate the distance of every other node starting from a root node that is why this is known as triple sp that is single source shortest path but the important thing is that the graph is unweighted that is there is no weight on the edges for weighted graph we have dijkstra's which runs in uh, v plus e log n time this runs in v plus e time now why the traversal of bfs is actually a uh, level order or why it happens that all the level i nodes are traversed before level i plus 1 that is level 5 node would be traversed before uh, we traverse level 6 node so what happens is that this is a queue uh, this is the front this is back so insertion would take place from back and removal would take place from front now before we start what we do we add the source node which is uh, we add source node which is at distance 0 or level 0 now all the level 1 node can be inserted only by level 0 element right because distance of every other node which is inserted by this source node would have plus 1 from distance of source node so all level 1 node would be inserted by level 0 nodes right there is only one zero a uh, level 0 nodes so suppose there were three level 1 nodes so level 1 nodes would be inserted and we would remove level 0 node. so level 0 is traversed be before level 1 now these are the only level 1 nodes because if there were more level 1 node they would have been inserted already because only level 0 element can add level 1 elements now we start traversing one by one we would remove one element from front and add some elements into the queue which are unvisited so if one is removed that is level one element is removed and if level one element adds any node into the queue that must be of level two right so suppose this adds these many level two nodes then 
I would remove this and then next level 1 element would add some level 2 element and then the next level uh, level 1 element would add another sum of the level 2 elements which were not traversed earlier so you see we are traversing level 1 element before level 2 elements and same would go for and same would happen for other levels so we would traverse level 2 elements before we can traverse level 3 elements because to traverse uh, level 3 element would be added only by level 2 elements so after only all the level 2 nodes have been traversed then only we can have level 3 element ready to be traversed that is why uh, this is the reason the algorithm the uh, the way this algorithm works using the queue that is first come serve first serve or FIFO uh, first in first out uh, algorithm is what makes this level order traversal possible using this queue the same algorithm if you run using stack that would be DFS all you have to do is change queue from uh, this algorithm uh, sorry this data structure from queue to stack and that would be last in first out and that would result into DFS the implementation of this BFS I'll be explaining in the next lecture where I would be taking a problem from hacker earth and we would solve that problem so till the next uh, video drops thank you guys for watching and yep, keep coding thank you